That about completes our notes for our next broadcast. We'll emphasize our aim again. One aim, the aim of our founder and not yet realized. But the greatest of all aims for mankind, world peace. One aim, peace. One problem, stop war. A problem, incidentally, made no easier by warmongers like Sir Eric Hazarius. Well, for the present, we'll have to leave that particular problem in the hands of Rod Stanton, since he and Sir Eric are isolated in Pendrang. Calling Field Station 1. Headquarters calling Field Station 1. Come in, Station 1. Field Station 1, Marlowe talking. Did you get my message about the plaque? Johnson and Bellows have gone after it. Stanton knows about it. I just heard he's escaped from jail. That means he's on his way out there now. Johnson and Bellows should have it and be out of there long before he arrives. In that case, fix a booby trap. Find you here. Too bad you didn't arrive sooner. What about the plaque that was in that office? That's what Tal means. Somebody beat us to it. It's a dead man in that wrecked office over there. Whoever was with him got away with the plaque. Look after things here. I'm taking these two back to Zalabar. We'll use your car. searched Tal and me and found nothing. That's right, but it doesn't prove anything. The portion of the plaque Dr. Elmore had hidden was useless to us without the other half you have. And you mean you were going to bring that portion back to me? What other choice have we, as long as you hold Dr. Elmore a prisoner? You mentioned Sir Eric a moment ago. Is the man in back of the theft of the other half of that plaque. That's what I want to investigate. That's all, Hammond. You said before you planned to bring the plaque here if you got hold of it. Does that still stand? Yes, because Dr. Elmore's here. But you must also agree to one condition. You're in no position to make conditions. Just the same, I'll make one. If I'm right and get the plaque from Sir Eric and Dr. Elmore translates it... You want a copy of the translation? Grant it. It should reveal what Sir Eric wants in Pendrang. You're on your own, gentlemen. Tal and I understand. Thank you. But how about Dr. Elmore? He's safer here than any place in Pendrang. Let's call it protective custody. Get the door, Marl. I came to see Sir Eric, but uh, you'll do, Mr. Malvern. Thanks, Hammond. What is it? Uh, it's about the money you paid me. It won't be much of a nest egg when I leave Pendrang. Ten thousand dollars is a lot of money to pay for a half a piece of rock we can't even read. Would it be worth another 10 to have the whole thing? My plaque certainly didn't just walk out of here. We know from the guard that nobody came in here since Hammond, Stanton, Talshan, and I left. Remembering Malbun once tried to bribe me? Melbourne, an unworthy servant of an unworthy master. Some people, Professor, are like your hieroglyphics. You can never be sure about them. Doc Harris means that all these years, Malbun has been the power and the purpose behind Sir Eric. How about Hammond? Well, you can't tell about him either, but I'd say he won't take a bribe. We'll go into that after I hear Stanton's explanation. When Stanton arrives, bring him here. 
That is glad. Complete. Where did you get it? At the casino. It's been an interest family for years. It just dawned on me that this is what you wanted, so I took it. Now we have to get a hold of Dr. Elmore. There's no chance of that. But uh, maybe I can help you in another way. How much? About 25,000. How much? Uh, 15 would be about right. Johnson, give me the other envelope in this safe. Let's have it. You might try Tonga. Tonga? The tribal chief can read the ancient sign language of Pendrang. Do you know the way to Tonga's village? And so arrogant you have to take charge of that. Uh, thank you, Mr. Melbourne. Clack plus translation equals the weight of meteorium. The rarest mineral radioactive element in the world. Thanks to Gaffron's inventive genius, meteorium is all we need to be able to sell a practical defense for the atomic bomb. Another thousand on the red. All done. Number two, black and even. Hello, system. How about a drink? No, thanks. But I might take a job. Game finally break you? Not quite. But you must be paying good wages for little work. What gives you that impression? The way Hammond is tossing money away, he must get it pretty easy. All down. Number 11, black, odd. All down. Sit down. I hate to ask you, Hammond, but I'm a little short. Could you let me have a couple of thousand? Oh, well, sure, Doc, no trouble. I think we better finish our business in the alcove behind me. All down. One hundred on three. Number three, red, hot. I'm sorry to have troubled you with an unnecessary visit, Stanton. I thought Indra wanted to see me. Well, she did, but we found the answer to her question. What's this all about? Just a little misunderstanding. Thanks for dropping by. I wonder what that was all about. I was hoping Indra would have some information about Dad or the plaque. Mr. Stanton. Doc Harris just killed Hammond. Hammond? For double cross and Indra. He stole a plaque and sold it to Sir Eric. Rod, that means that Sir Eric now has the whole plaque. We'll have to keep a closer watch on your father. Sir Eric can't make another move without him. No, Mr. Stanton. Sir Eric is already moving to Tonga's village. Why there? Tonga knows our ancient language. He can translate the plaque. Why don't you go to the hotel? Explain the setup to Tal Shan. Tell him I'm on the way to the village to warn Tonga before Sir Eric gets there. Wait a minute. What's the trouble, Greg? Beyond here is forbidden territory. To go farther without tribal consent means death. We must wait. Nonsense. I want a translation of that plaque. And I'm not waiting.
We're shooting, Marlow. Take us to your village. Why do you come here, strangers, without consent? We speak for our great leader. Sir Eric Hazarius. Who comes now in search of Tonga, the mighty chief. What is so important that you violate our laws to speak to him? Sir Eric needs the wise counsel of the all-knowing Tonga. His wisdom is common knowledge in Pendrang. Speak. This plaque contains mysterious symbols. Our leader brings it. This is a long-lost talisman of the eternal sun. You are the sun messenger. What is your command, sun messenger? The sun messenger desires to know the meaning of the symbols on the talisman. I cannot tell you their meaning without first consulting with the council of the elders. Our leader has need of haste. He desires to stop enemies who threaten you with danger. The council has decided favorably. When the sun has reached its zenith, we will go to the Temple of the Rocks. This man is one of those the great sun messenger warned you about. Sir Eric's your enemy. Silence. The sun messenger will wait for you at the Temple of the Rocks. I shall join you there later. We must leave the trail here. This marker is watched. Can we get around it? Yes. But if Rod came this way, he's in trouble with the tribesmen. The ancient laws of the tribes of Pendrang decree your death. Sir Eric, the man you call a sun messenger, He's your real enemy. You go to Indra and ask her for help. The knife of judgment will silence your lying tongue. Now, Shan, you have chosen to ally yourself with our enemy. My friend is not your enemy. There's no convincing him of that, Tal. You shall watch him and see what fate has in store for you. The sun shall be your executioner. Its rays will start the fires to burn the ropes. If they fail, you are innocent and free to go. <laughs> <laughs> 